is so we may boldly say something. There has to be a response. So, question will be, what has God said that I might boldly say? <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you following this? He had said, so that we may boldly say, what is he saying? God doesn't talk for nothing. He spoke for a purpose. He said it that I might boldly say something. In response to what he said. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I shall not fear what man shall do unto me. He had said. He had said that I might boldly say. See, it's wrong to hear what he said and just say, thank you, Lord, for what you said. Mm. And go away. Thank you, Lord, for what you said. Is that all? He said it for a reason. That you may boldly say, He had said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That I may boldly say, yes, I am a new creation. Yes, I am a victor. Yes. All things are passed away. The heart trouble is passed away. The cancer is passed away. The failure is passed away. The disappointment is passed away. The despondency is passed away. The fear is passed away. Shout hallelujah somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what it is. That we may boldly say. That we may boldly say. I said Christianity is not for the quiet fellow. Christianity is for talkers. Ooh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God see let me show you something listen you can't have real Christianity by praying in your mind and singing in your mind and worshiping in your mind and dancing in your mind it's not gonna work it's got to come out all right just for the records just for the records Let's go again to salvation principle. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. Go there. I want to show it to you. Glory to God. Brother, Christianity is a living thing. Tell somebody it's no religion. Yeah. Hallelujah. Have you found it? Yes. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Uh-huh. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Watch, watch. If thou shalt confess, declare, announce, with your mouth now that word confess is the word the greek word homologia it means speaking the same thing in consent it means to say the same thing in agreement which means when god talks you respond in agreement you say the same thing with god that's homologia then he tells us why he gives us a spirit law again 
it tells us why verse 9 works this way in verse 10 look at it for you see that for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession proclamation announcement are you hearing me <laughs> look at it that verse 10 verse 10 same book same chapter he explains to you why salvation works in verse 9 the way it does for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation what is he telling you he says with your heart you believe and are made right with god but you will never experience the blessings and the benefits of that salvation until the second part of it that's why you have many good christians very nice christians quiet calm easygoing christians and then they got a lot of trouble with the devil and they don't know why they say lord i'm doing everything you want me to do i'm so nice and so kind i'm helpful to everybody i come to church and give my tithes why am i going through all this <laughs> because they fulfilled one part with the heart man believes and is made right with God yes that's inspiring but it doesn't give you the winning life look at it again for with the heart man believes unto righteousness that's why you are so confident that you're a Christian because you believe with your heart and you know it so you can say any day I'm a child of God but why are you going through the problems you are going through until you so now believe that it is normal with everybody you see that okay there's a problem on the job you are among those fired something has happened to money you are a loser the sickness in the locality you are a victim why is your life like this some people have been successful in business successful in their family but they have lived in fear of losing everything even though they are 78 years old they're still afraid of losing everything they worked for for 55 years living in fear why should it be so even though they're christians because they have never been taught they have never been taught that there is another aspect there's a victorious life in Christ there's a higher life in Christ they've never been taught listen the Bible you are opening is it from Africa L look at it no 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 look at your Bible is your Bible from Africa did you find an Africa writer African writer in that Bible the men I quoted for you, Peter, James, Paul, John, were they from Africa? I'm showing you your Bible. Look at it there. Look at it right there. The problem is many have thought that the book was sanctified and meant for the pillow. So they said, now I lay me down to sleep. So they put it under their heads, hoping that evil spirits will run away when they see the Bible. There was a gentleman many years ago he so loved his bible and he so respected and revered his bible that when it fell from his hand he gave himself seven knocks on the head <laughs> to please god god's not that dumb hallelujah the blessing is not in the writing the blessing is in the spirit So look at that principle again romans chapter 10 verse 10 for with the heart man believes unto righteousness man believes and is made right with god then he says and with the mouth confession with the mouth confession homologia 
speaking the same thing in consent with the mouth this thing here is not for ice cream it's for charting your course in life Thou would show me the path of life. Thou would show me the path of life. Listen, I will always be a success. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I will always prosper. Abundantly. I will always be a victor. Is, do, you know, do you understand what I'm telling you? Why? He has shown me the path of life. And I'm walking in it. There's a path of life. In his presence. <laughs> in his presence. Is fullness of joy. Fullness of joy. Doesn't matter what happens. You are more than a conqueror let me explain that scripture to you many Christians who have had problems understanding that simple thing that Paul said when he said in all these things we are more than conquerors you know the, the, the construction is a little um, cloudy and so it's difficult for many to understand it but it means exactly what it says He says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Simply, it means we have passed conquering. That's what he's saying. We've gone beyond conquering. That's what he's saying. We are not people who just won a battle. He says, we've passed that level. We've dealt with all those things. It says, in all these things, we have passed conquering. We are no longer celebrating that we've defeated the adversary. We've passed that level. These are bread for us. These are no match for us. This is not my problem. I've dealt with this. I've passed this level. That's what he said. In all these things. You know, so you look up 